Let's just develop the knight. Like this. Oh. Oh, we've got an odd bod. Odd bod player. Let's just block this pawn. Shall we develop the bishop? Let's push on to the bishop. Smaller piece attack and a higher piece. Let's take this knight. Don't want to overthink anything. Let's hit this bishop again. Let's go searching for the bishop again. Let's hit the bishop again. And I believe we're capturing this pawn. And I think we're capturing this pawn. Signal's gone. Looks like they've left the game. Yes, that was a very strange opening. Okay, on to the next game. Attack the king. Capture. This castle. Let's bring the knight back down. The pawn attacks. that just yet, let's just develop the knight. Let's hit the pawn in the centre, beating it down. Yeah, let's bring the knight up. Down, sorry. Let's develop the bishop. Ready to hit the head of the snake. Yeah, let's go. Hit the head of the snake. Queen's mobilising, looking for some sort of attack here. We could push the pawn up. But you know what? I'm going for devastation. Let's just get this baby opened. And let's take. And if we move the queen, the queen comes down and attacks the pawn, but then we can put a check on their king. Doesn't mean a right lot, but we get a check on the king. If he comes here, the knight will take the queen. Just remember that. The queen's gone back. Is there anything else? Opening up this dark square bishop looks appealing, but we don't have much space. So I'm going to bring the knight up. Castle queen side. Oh, I mean, yeah, okay. Could go the king side as well if we wanted. So what's changed now that they've gone queen side? Do we have anything attacking that particular area? Or are we focused on here? Can we lose a pawn? We attack the head of the snake here. Nope. I, 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 I could take the pawn. One on one. Queen's coming down for some devastation. Hit the pawn. Ah, you see, we hit the pawn, hit the queen. Bishop takes, pawn takes. Knight blocker. are going to be attacking the Queen so we're gonna to have to be a little bit shifty maybe come down here and attack the Bishop because it's got no protection on come down here oh they're very lively all right so we're gonna to have to come here and attack their Queen it looks like let's just attack the Queen Playing ball, he's still wanting to put some sort of pressure somewhere. Knight could come round here attacking the queen, rook's attacking their rook. Let's attack the queen, higher piece, rook takes with a check, so we'll just take their rook. Oh, didn't see that. Let's take the rook.
They're very lively. Put a check on the king, but then do we have anywhere to come back to once we've got that? No, so we end up just kind of trapping ourselves. Let's attack the queen. Yeah, this isn't much fun really, is it, dancing around like this? Um, let's just go here. Knight's protecting this square, sorry, and the bishop's protecting as well. At last I've taken Prague Gate Rook puts a check on. Where's the king? Looking to see if we can get the rook off. Um, let's take on the bit pawn at the moment. Evie, yeah, you know when you just can't get a break. Oh, and they've resigned. <laughs> oh, what, what were we looking at? What were we looking at? Just saying we can't get a break. Just. Because I want to get this bishop into the game, but I can't even push this pawn here, so I'm going to have to come round to get into the game. Nah, it's not, it's not dropped down at all, has it? So I would have been okay manoeuvring that way. I just felt that it was just not doing anything in the game. Just blocks the pawn. Fill up the knight. Support the pawn. Because as we know, if the bishop takes the knight, then this pawn is going to be free for the knight to take. I'm going to capture the pawn. Let's just bring the bishop through because obviously the bishop has an x ray through to our king, queen, sorry. So they're just taking pieces off the board, which is interesting for me, but it doesn't mean they don't know what they're doing. You have to always remember that because the strangest of openings can give the opponent the strangest of good positions. So I'm going to bring the knight across now, just uh, developing. I'm going to bring my bishop out just to give space for the rooks. I'm going to go for the rook being opposite the queen. And see how they've moved the queen off of that line. Nothing's happening at this moment, but once it all starts kicking off, sometimes it can be terrible just having the rook in front of the queen. So I'm going to go opposite the queen again. And they've kept the queen this time because they're potentially looking for this type of situation. I'm going to go here, small potato, just defending that area. Knight's in, simply going to grab. If he's looking for a queen exchange, that's fine. But they're not looking for a queen exchange, so I'm hoping that has lost them some tempo in terms of proper development. Because they're so focused on this that it looks like that's all they're going to be focusing on. So what I want to do is just get my queen here to bait down as many pawns as possible. Yep, so that's one. So now I'm going to just challenge the queen to see, well, what is it that you really want to do? I don't think they're going to actually take, not they've taken this pawn here, but they, what they've done is let their bishop be taken because the queen was supporting the bishop. So we get a free piece from there. Now the queen's going a little bit crazy. And we can put a check on the queen if we want, on the king if we want. Is there a better thing? I don't really want to face his rooks, that's the thing. I'm going to be facing the rooks. Could get this bishop out a little bit. I think he's going to be taking more pawns off the board. Yes, he's going to take another pawn off with the queen. Yep. Yeah. Alright, so now, can't go there just yet. If we face the queen off, the queen's going to come and attack the bishop. But the bishop queen is protecting at the moment. So he's probably going to run all the way back just to get safe. So they're probably looking to line this rook up here. So let's go for a take for a take. We do have more pieces on the board. This bishop is actually protecting our queen. So basically they're going to be another piece down. But you could see the picture of what they were trying to do, which was 
interesting but all the while we have pieces protecting our pieces so it looks like they may have left the game yes they have done okay five and oh let's develop the knights supporting the pawn looking to get rid of this um knight so that it's not protecting the pawn so it's got like loads of pieces on there now so if we bring the queen into the frame as well just protecting this pawn now this knight's attacking this pawn but it's protected at the minute so we could develop this bishop just to give the knight a bit of support not too precious about taking with the bishop or not but um i'll take it there don't seem to be any major threat here at the minute So now the knight's zooming down here, it looks like it's making space for its queen at some point, you know, to come in here, you know, if we go on uh, kingside castle. It's also looking at this square here, attacking the queen. So I think that's probably what we're going to do, because it's attacking the queen, it's also going to be attacking this pawn. So we may as well do a simple pawn maneuver like this and stop all of that activity taking place. And then we can just go on queenside castle, I think. Alright, so they're looking to open up space on the queen side now, so if we take then obviously it opens the pawn and then the rook can come down and start challenging on the queen side. So I'm going to take anyway because this bishop's doing nothing, it's, I'm classing that as like a bad bishop currently. He's still got a white square bishop, so is he looking to get around here to come here to sort of manage this square? That's something I'm thinking about in the back of my head at the moment, because there might be method in the madness. We could always move the knight, attacking, and then look into x-ray through to the knight, while we're thinking. So it gives them something to think about. I think we might put still queenside castle, even though they've got this here, but we've got protection around here, so maybe kingside castle might be better. Okay, so it's given us the um, knight for free. Is there anything that we have missed? suppose if the bishop takes we take and then he's got this pawn here with the rook but he's losing another piece so he's attacking the queen maybe that might have been a mistake so if we come here then we're attacking this pawn so we need to move a bit fast because time's running out so they're going to castle then the rook's defending and uh, they're not doing that so we can swing the king get queen in here and go for a checkmate 